on all that unhealthy eating because Jumpstart January starts right now with you. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy. Thank you for joining us for Jumpstart January. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button Ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. We don't only do weight loss on this channel, we do life. Now you guys, let's get right to this weigh-in. I don't know what it's going to be. Every day will be different and authentic. So let's get right to it. All right, you guys. As I continue to drop these pounds, my numbers tend to change because I put the numbers into the keto tracker. So it was 196.8. And you saw my calories, you can see my fat, you can see my net carbs, and you can see my protein. So after the weigh-in, I had to go in and I had to change what my new weight was. So my numbers changed as well. As you guys can see, my calories dropped, my fat dropped, and my protein dropped. When I first started my strict keto, my carbs was at 27. They're now at 22. So I had to make some adjustments being so everything changed let's see how it went check it out i am going to prep more bacon while i'm up getting the twins my husband and everybody's breakfast set to go i'm going to prep some more bacon because i only got exactly four slices left um that's isabella back there talking so i got the skillet all prepped and we are starting this day off very well and so this is the bacon and it's finished. Um, it's in this container. I'm probably gonna put it in a huge Ziploc bag just so I can save space inside of the refrigerator. So I'll be putting it in one of these Ziploc bags right here. But um, prepping my food before it runs out is really helping me so I can just grab it, heat it up and go. Uh, I definitely need to pick up some more avocado. I have the avocados here, they're ripe, so. I have only three left. I'm going to pick up some more avocados. I'll check back in with you guys later if I have anything, but I have to run my numbers because since I lost weight, I know my numbers aren't gonna be the same, so I have to go back to the drawing board and I'm excited about it, you guys. It's not prepared yet, but as you can see, the amount of cheese that I can have has went down. I actually can only have three slices of cheese for breakfast this morning instead of four, one egg instead of two, three pieces of bacon instead of four. Still gonna keep my avocados because that's good in fat and my salsa is still the same. And I'm going to add an extra tablespoon of sour cream because I need the fat. So I will be back when it is done. Everything is done. I have the guacamole that's finished. I have the salsa, the two tablespoons of sour cream, my homemade cheese it two slices of cheese one is just i haven't done anything to i just took the one egg and the cheese that i mixed in together on the stove and put it on top and this is what i'm eating for meal one and it is 108 you guys i know i'm supposed to start eating at 12 but that's very difficult for me being so i have to i do my mother's lunch i do mommy say hi hi so i do my mother's lunch i do my twins lunch and then i proceed to do my stuff so i still eat between 12 and 1 ish all right so bacon uh, this bacon is light bacon is life on keto that's just my opinion all right you guys definitely 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 this is my favorite meal on keto you guys if you're not eating bacon if you can eat bacon eat that bacon make your own guacamole and add the eggs you are going to be blessed i love this meal bacon 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 it is like two o'clock 
the twins are still asleep and the other kids won't start coming home until three. I am laying down right now. I noticed that I am super tired than usual, but if you guys don't know, whenever you drop your carbs, like one of the signs is you really get tired, you know, and you have to push through. So I am about to lay down for like maybe 30 minutes, but I just wanted to let you guys know that some people, um, if you do feel like tired and stuff like that, that is completely normal because of the carbs, but your body will get used to it. And you know, I'm definitely going to make a cup of coffee in a little while. But I just wanted to let you guys know just some things that's going on since I've been back on strict keto. My carbs are very low and like for the past few days I've been like really tired but just pushing myself and trying to stay busy. I thought I was going to be able to take a nap and I wasn't going to be able to take a nap. Um, an unscheduled visit for my mom popped up and now I'm up. It is raining out here. Um, the kids' bus is coming right now. Hey, come on, it's cold. Stop screaming at the birds and come on. Hi. Hello. How was your day? Good. It was good? Say hi to everyone. Today you didn't fall asleep in class? Is that supposed to be something good? Yeah. You're not supposed to sleep in class, period. It's not to be celebrated. You're not even supposed to be sleeping in there. But good job, good job. And you know why that is? Because I took the iPad away early, so you didn't stay up all night sneaking on the iPad. See? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yesterday, a lot of people asked, what exactly do I do with the cream cheese and the pecans and if they are really good? So let me show you really fast. So basically what I do is I just take the cream cheese and I season it and I dip my pecans, pecans into it. So whether you're a pecaner or a pecaner, that's what I dip into the cream cheese. So here we go. I'm gonna take this. This is about two and a half tablespoons of cream cheese. It just looks big because of the camera, but it's, it's really not that big. So I have already teared the small cup on the scale and I am going to weigh one ounce of cream cheese. And like yesterday, <laughs> it's at 109. So one ounce, 1.9 ounces, that's completely fine. So I'm gonna show you the seasonings that I use. It's really, 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 really simple, okay? So I use honey sriracha. So here you can see the nutrition. Zero carbs, zero, 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 zero. Next seasoning that I use is Sazun. I think I'm saying it right. Tropical. And there we go. And I just sprinkle a little bit of this onto the cream cheese. So here you can see it's sprinkled onto the cream cheese. And I'm going to put the container on top of it and shake it up. to like a little ball of like flavored cream cheese you guys omg yes it's gonna be so good so then all i do is take a pecan i'll be right back i measured the pecans out to 201 which is fine we can live with that so now let me show you how you zip they did so hi bella so i'm gonna take one and then i'm gonna come over here and dip it into the cream. Can you see that? I'm wrapping up. These are my meals for today. Again, the cream cheese that everyone was talking about is still sitting here. And I haven't put it back in the refrigerator. I left it out, so it's kind of not as hard. So it's easier to dip now. The pecans, pecans. You, you guys pick and choose whatever y'all gonna say. Wherever you're from, hold it down. The ranch. And tonight I have two cups of salad mix instead of one because I had to move things around because my numbers dropped. Um, I have three slices of cheese. There's two cheese at ones in here, and then there's one melted on top of my chicken. And I'm gonna enjoy this meal and see you guys in the morning. So these are my numbers for the day. 134 calories left, 12 grams of fat left, eight grams of protein left, and I had 10 net carbs yesterday. Let's see how the weigh-in is going to go 
Okay, good morning everyone. I am so, so tired. I know y'all tired of hearing that. Today is Friday. Happy Friday. And it is the 17th. That means it's cheat day. Man, it feel like I have something on my face. Like I'm just so tired, you guys. Alright, sorry you guys. My alarm went off. <laughs> okay, let's get it going. One ninety three point six. That is good. One ninety three point six. We was one ninety four yesterday. That is good. I'll take one ninety three point six. And you guys, I don't know what to expect tomorrow because today is cheat day, and I know the weight is going to go up. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in for Jump Start January. I will see you right back here tomorrow. Drop a comment down below and let me know how you're doing today. How's it going for you? I definitely want to know. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like who? Like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seaweed Family Channel, we always want you to know that you are needed. Peace out, great people.